Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you guys um, how can we map VUX stores with the form fields. So for example, uh, let's imagine we have a login page and it has two inputs. Uh, one is username and the other one is password. And now uh, what we usually do is we create, um, we create an input. Let's get started. We create an input and we say, um, type equals to um, text and we create another input um, we say type equals to password I'll not focus on the styling I'm just trying to show you something um, some 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 library which is of good use and then we do something like this we do a we model um, let's say it's an email and we we'll copy the same thing and paste it here. Let's say this is a password. We go ahead and define a data. And in the data we'll say email password. And when we type anything in here, it's modeled with these two values. How can we cross check that? We can just print them on the screen we'll say email we'll say password we'll type here and see if it gets see so that's how um, we usually map form fields with the uh, with the data that's how you bind that's called two-way data binding so what if uh, we had something like um this so let's cut this from here and let's delete these no let's keep them because we're going to name them the same i mean we're going to name the new variables email and password so let's keep them and let's have these two things here let's comment them out for for now and um so let's imagine so uh, I'm assuming you guys are familiar with how a VUX store works. What's VUX? Why do we use VUX? Why do we have uh, states? Why do we have a concept called state management? So basically this is a central store which gives you some values and uh, they're hold centrally. So uh, by central, I mean, we have them in the top root node Let's imagine we have a root node and we have the state at the top and all these children or we can say components can access the state and get some data here and there, you know, they can share the data, the data is synced across all the components and stuff like that. So it becomes, it becomes uh, really easy if you have a functionality which demands sharing of the data between components. Let's say we have a hierarchy or we have a deep level nesting of 10 components and component number one wants to uh, fetch some data or use some data which is used by component 10 then we have to maintain 10 levels of props and then you know that's 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 really bad that's not that's not the standard way of doing it we can do it but it's really hard to maintain but the optimal and we can say the standard way of suggested way of doing stuff is vuex in that case so what have I done here is um, first of all I'm going to show you simply how 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 counter uh, variable is is stored in the store and then there is a mutation called increment and then there is a increment uh, mutation and then there's a getter called counter which can be used in the app dot view. So let's say if I write a computed I'll create a computed property. This is going to return me the counter. Um, return this dot dollar store dot getters dot counter and if i am going to print this counter here i'm expecting a zero on the screen oh no it's a one <laughs> i was expecting a zero so let's make us a zero and um, let's create two buttons down there button number one it's gonna say plus I'm copy the same code and paste it again. It's gonna say minus. So on click of plus, 
I want to do something and I on click on, on on the minus subtract I want to do something so on click of plus obviously I'm going to in, in, increment the counter so the counter is here nothing is defined in the data property of the uh, of the component so so how are we going to achieve that so we have um, two mutations which is increment and decrement increment uh, gets state passed in as an argument here automatically and state dot counter equals to state dot counter plus one so it adds one to the uh, existing value of the counter and then it assigns it to the state dot counter which means it adds it by one and this one does the same but it just subtracts it by one so uh, now we're going to bind these mutations with the button clicks so how are we going to do that so on click we just want to commit a mutation so we'll say dollar store dot commit we'll say increment and we'll copy the same code and paste it here we'll say decrement i'm not spelling it correctly it's decrement let's copy and paste it here so now if I click plus, it's going to add uh, it by one. And if I go minus, it's going to subtract one from the total. And if I click minus again, it's going to go into negatives. All right. So that's how Vuex works. I'm committing a mutation from the component and the main value is stored in the store as counter. And then I'm... Um, uh, mutating the values using mutations and getters are just getting the values for me okay so um, let's see if I can do the same with inputs okay so let's say I have got email and password let me get rid of <laughs> increment and let me have email empty password empty let me say email state dot email let me copy it again let me paste it once more password this is going to be password okay sorry let me do this instead okay so right now i've got two uh, properties in the state one is the email the second one is the password i've got two getters which are responsible to get the stuff from the store so let, for testing let's do this abc let's make password abc now let's get it here email this dot dot getters dot email computer property always has to return something so you need to return it password uh, this is going to return the password okay. it's already mapped so you see it's mapped and it's showing up here because it's already pre-filled if I pre-fill it like this it's going to come up here so since it's pre-filled and if I'm going to take a look at the console can we decrease the size yes we can okay so right now we're looking at the console uh, I'm gonna clear the console and I'm gonna start typing um, in the inputs I'll say a random thing okay so it says computed property email was assigned to but it has no setter okay so the thing is that you need to define a, a get and set method inside the computed property to mutate the computer property which comes from the store so to avoid this error i've come up uh, with a library which is called vuex map fields so i'm not sure if many people use it but it's uh, really useful when you've got large forms and you want those forms to be synced up with the vuex stores so how do we use it? I'll start with the store. 
First of all, we'll just install this uh, library using npm, npm install vux map fields. As soon as it's installed, we go to the uh, store, we destructure two things from it, get field, update field, okay? Get field has to be included in the getters, update field has to be included in the mutations, okay? Once this is done, in the main component where the form is present, which in our case is app.view, we just import something from this library, viewx map fields. We'll say map fields and the computed property, and get rid of these two things. We're gonna spread map fields. <clears throat> And then we're going to say email is equal to email and password equal to password. This value is used by our uh, V model and this password is used by our V model. The string here tells the map fields method that this needs to be fetched from the store. So this value here and this should match if I'm going to say email it's not going to work you see here it's gone now if I say email it's going to work so this value on the right hand side has to match with the value on the left hand side okay so now once this is done I'm going to clear the console again and now I'm going to type in my input you see I don't get the error anymore and if I create a button here let's say button submit and I'll say click submit I'm gonna create a method which will be submit and I'm going to console log the state value or to make it more clear for you guys and to prove that these values are synced with the uh, Vuex store what I'm going to do is I'm not going to console log them here I'm going to dispatch an action I'm going to say this dot dollar store dot dispatch an action called submit okay so as soon as I submit uh, an action is going to be dispatched right now it's going to show an error I think no it's not showing an error let's console to see if it's working console.log random characters is it working uh, what am I missing here I'd click submit is this What am I missing? Let me refresh it. Okay, it's me. It's I think it was some cache problem. So it says unknown action type submit. So this means that the submit action is not present in the Vuex store. So we need to create it. We'll say actions um, submit. We'll say console dot log. actions will destructure state from here and we'll print out the whole state in the console okay right now if I'm going to delete these pre-filled values because we don't need them anymore I'm going to refresh this and clear the console and now if I submit state is going to get printed into this uh, console right now the state is empty right now if I type anything in the input say Basset and password is hello and say submit so it's synced okay so our v model inputs are two-way data binded with the store without throwing the computed property error so that's how you use this library called vuxmap fields 
to map your form fields with the state, with the store state, I mean, not the local one. That's how it works. Okay, so let's, um, so it's synced completely. If I'm gonna submit, it's gonna print the latest value. If I'm gonna type anything, it's just gonna sync the uh, inputs with the main view store. I hope you learned something new and I hope it helped you. And yeah, so if you know anybody out there who's into Vue.js and wants to learn new stuff around Vue ecosystem and, you know, um, learn as a beginner or, or brush up the skills and, and, and learn, learn this kind of stuff, please share the video with them, share it in your network it's going to help me and it's going to benefit you guys also. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.